this is Priscilla Batzell. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That's a 16 by 20 inch canvas that I painted with black and white paint several days ago. And it's well and truly dry. And I am going to take colors and put them in a sky because it looks like a landscape. And then I'm going to scoop on the base. And I wanted to show you really quick. I made this really cool golden moon and used my skewer to put little indentations in. And then I accidentally put a scar in it, which is too bad because I really liked it. I'll have to find another use for it. Maybe I'll cut the bottom off and make it a rising moon in something else. But what I did instead, and this is where I got the original one, was it's a silicone lid. You can't use it if it's got any printing on the inside, but this one doesn't, only on the outside. And overnight, you get this wonderful, pure, beautiful, perfectly round, which I can't do normally, uh, skin, which I can use for a, a sky, for, for a sun or a moon. And I'm not sure which it's going to be, but I th it's supposed to be a moon. And I'm going to grab an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. And I'm going to use some Love You Pink. Which I'm going to kind of wish I hadn't used quite as much of all in one place. I have some purple that I made from some frosted and Vivid Intense Magenta, Ultramarine Blue, and Dioxazine Purple, and I want to use it up. I also have some other frost Frostbite with a little bit of Ultramarine Blue and Red Violet in it, a drop, which is not coming out very easily. All my paint. I've got some black iris, which is a prism pour. The lovey pink was a primary element. I'm going to be using, if I got it out, I'm going to be using some midnight shadow because I'm hoping this is going to look like a night sky. But I'm also going to get frisky and use both some of the Baltic amber. And a color I mixed up that I'm not sure what I mixed it up with, but it's it looks similar to Baltic Amber. It's just a little more orange. And I hope I'm not sorry. There's a lot of paint here. And here is the Midnight Shadow, which I think I'm going to hold off on for another minute. Get some things out of the way. And try my best not to freak out. <laughs> I don't mind taking my residuals. Sends that thing that does not belong. And that thing that does not belong. That's a big thing. Yeah, I think I used too much paint, but that's okay because I really like the sky. It's going to be surreal, but that's okay too. I kind of want to use everything I've got over the edge. I've got to find the name of the person I was looking at. Her work, she does oceans, beaches, skies, like I used to, but she's so good. And her skies inspired me. Mine are a little more colorful, but for whatever reason, these colors all called to me very loudly. And the canvas is dry, so it means anything that I need to wipe off the bottom, I can do that. 
anything I need to steal from up here, I can do that too. I might want to put some more Midnight Shadow right down at the bottom though. Yes, I'm being messy. For some reason I'm not too afraid of what happens at the horizon line. I wish that paint was coming down off my spatula better. Maybe I'll just... Oh, I got something stuck to my canvas. It's a paint chip. Go figure. So I'm just going to keep using the paint I've got right along the top. I want some paint in that area down there. And I want the paint that's going to be sticking the, um, the celestial body. I want that paint to be thin enough. And I might want to keep a spatula full to put some clouds across it. There's that, and if I tip that spatula up, maybe it won't. So I kind of decided to keep the edge that I could have put less paint in the lid so it didn't go around, but I've decided to keep the edge on. I just have to figure out which side exactly I want to put that on. And I kind of like the original side. It is what it is now. And I want a wet paper towel, at least for right this moment. And get rid of that little bit of canvas right there while the paint is still nice and wet and I can't do it any harm. drips, but they work. Sometimes your finger is the best tool of all. Now this might be an issue. It may decide to buckle. Which it kind of looks like it's going to. Try not to move that around too much. And then I'm going to put some marks right over it. I've got some weird cloud over here, so that's, although I kind of like it when I get strange marks, except for that one. I'm not sure I like that one, but I have got Q-tips. I have to not draw too hard with them. Chips not allowed. I want to scrape that off and use something else. I'm going to use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. You can find these tools on my Amazon link. Sun or moon, it's still cool. 
I think it looks more like the sun than the moon, to tell you the truth. But it's kind of nice. I like it. Let's make sure I don't have any spots that I'm worried about. Just use up my extra paint in them. Throw my spatula into the trough, the bucket. I like that little cloud I just added at the bottom. I wasn't expecting to, to do much of that, but I've got sort of some canvas texture there that I want to camouflage anyway. I'll get it quick before I start pulling up paint. There, I think that's okay. I like it. Now, I have to figure out what to do next. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, so. That is a scoop resting in a pan that I'm going to use for colors. That I have what I thought I had, some glad cling wrap well and truly adhered to, but now it's looking like I've got a little rip. So I'm just going to start the way I was planning on. Making sure that, that whatever that black spot is isn't free to come out and join our party. So I'm going to start with some Chantilly lace. This is basically in my opinion, going to be a dirty scoop pour. And that's a, sh that's a prison pour. This is indigo violet, another prison pour. Indian spice, which is looking like it needs to be, have it, have its tip cleared badly. I'm going to throw a little Atelier black and hope it doesn't hurt anything. There's some Baltic Amber. The colors will be listed under the video. And I'm going to use quite a bit of paint, I think. And hope that this works. Well, since that's plugged, I think I'm going to go for... Where's my Mayan gold? I'm not... There it is. I see it. And I, I like the colors I have, and I want it to be simple, but I'm being called to uh, Royal Sapphire. Let me see if I can do anything with this really fast. Not really fast. I got it! Wow, that was really fast. <laughs> All that was in there. Hopefully that means it'll come out easily. They're similar but not the same. More indigo violet. I'm going to give it a little bit of royal sapphire. Uh, well, I would have if it were open. Maybe I'll just go with Fandango. Because a little won't hurt me. And I can always remove a little. I still want the royal sapphire though. You know how I am. Or if you don't, now you do. That looks like plenty of paint to me. Let's do a little more black. I gotta remember I have black background already. Really like the indigo violet. Okay, I'm going to put it down, bring my painting back, which seems to be resting even better than I expected it to. All right, so I'm going to go, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go from the bottom in.
And then I'm going to tip that puppy. And I might even add some black. Or maybe in this case, some indigo violet. I think I'm going to have to add more paint. I'm trying to make it go all the way to the edge. I'm thinking I want some black iris too. Well, at least I got it to go all the way to the edge. <laughs> so, Royal Sapphire. That's Chantilly Lace. That's Baltic Amber. Indigo Violet. How about... I don't see any of the green. It didn't show up for me. So let's just do that. Fandango. There's the Black Iris again. And it has something in its tip. Bad news for me. All right, let's do a little more Indian Spice. And I'm gonna try, maybe crazy, try a little bit of Maiden Black. Sorry, it got real quiet real quick. I'm trying to make this go, and I should grab a Princeton Artful Cattle Spatula because that would help me. Excavate. I could definitely use some cell activator if I wanted to. But I need some something else. And I'm going to use that Fandango again. And in this case, a little bit of Midnight Shadow. Some more. Baltic Amber, some more Royal Sapphire, some more Indian Spice, maybe a little bit of Chantilly Lace, some more Royal Sapphire, oh, excuse me, some more Indigo Violet. Maybe should have waited to do the this whole thing the next let the first stage dry. And I was gonna just use the shovel for it, but I'm really considering adding some cell activator because it's all pretty fresh. And it might be really cool. It's gonna change radically though. I want to put cell activator right on my scoop. 
Maybe I'll just keep using the scoop. And changing everything up a little bit. And there I should be able to tip it. Or maybe not. Because I haven't done anything like this before. I'm going to grab my... Do I even have one left? They're all in the bucket. Oh no! Well, I've got a backup. I've got a little mask. Spatula. It's silicone. Just want to get all the paint out. I'm dubious. I think that's going in the bucket. And I'm going to grab, if I can find my gold cell activator, and hope it's working. Never did use my pan, but that's okay. I'm going to grab some turquoise, actually pearlescent teal, and pearlescent violet boom gel. Now I've got a scoop that I think I'm going to use as a swipe card. I'm going to go first with the gold. Then with the violet. Not sure that worked as well as I was hoping it was going to, so I'll grab something different. I'm going to grab some more of the gold. Some of my black. Hopefully it's still working. get lucky this will turn out beautiful. Otherwise I'm not sure what we're going to get. Other than some interesting texture. I like putting sideways horizontal markings in. And pulling diagonally. Okay so I've got Cell activator right there. If I get a mark I'm not sure about, I just go in a different direction. I've got some nice cells. I sure have plenty of paint. I'm going for the black first this time. I want to just put it on there and use some gold on the... The gold is Australian Floetrol mixed with Pebio Iridescent Gold and Atelier Rich Gold. And I could probably put some lines right back in this if I wanted to because it's painted black underneath. Just occurred to me. So it's going to be all about the moon, I think. Let's do some more black there. I kind of want some purple. Let's just do that. 
So underneath the video, you're going to find coupon codes for color art products, 20% off, and pixel paint designs where you can get Australian Floetrol, 10% off. Yep, I'm just messing in paint. Good thing I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures because if the paint is heavy, then it doesn't crack. And this paint is heavy. And I have enough of it to go around and around. So that's pretty bizarre. It's not really what I intended to begin with, but it's okay. Don't mind it looking like a pile of rocks if I can manage it. There, I've got three minutes left. And I'm pretty well done, and I guess I don't really need as many... I don't need that many cells. I'll take the ones I've got and like them. I still have enough time to play a little bit more. Not minding any of that. So, I don't have to flip that around because I've done editing and flipped it in the editor. If I can help you guys with anything, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll do my best to answer your questions and if I don't know, I'll let you know that too. I can't believe I got rid of all that gold. I mean all that black. Yeah. I like that white. I kind of want to move some of it down. I'm going to probably have to cover my bottom at some future point and I'm hoping that this dries okay and I keep wanting to flip it around. <laughs> Alright, so I have 30, list, 30 playlists organized by topic and genre as well as by the hundred. 30 playlists of a hundred and the rest are organized by topic and genre. I'm so distracted, I can't tell you. Alright, I kind of like that. I might like it better tomorrow. We'll see. I'm going to have to put up with the fact that I chose... I'll probably be pushing that down a little bit. With the dull end of my tweezers. It's surreal no matter what. Let's give it a bit of a torch. If there's anything else that I need to adjust, I'll just use whatever tool is handy. That, that little purple wave is kind of bugging me. I don't think I'm going to keep it. Alright, I'll see you guys anon. Please look under the video for in, in the description for my paint pouring recipes. Know that questions are welcome. Please give me a thumbs up. Share my videos if you have a mind to. It really helps me out. Your comments keep my morale boosted, so thank you for being here. Hope you come again. I post at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time 
Oh, what am I forgetting? On the link tree, you're going to find a couple of websites, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group, and more. Under the video, you'll find spring clothing, and I can have anything that I make transposed onto Teespring Clothing or Fine Art America, Pixels.com, Reproductions, Society6, or even Le Gallerist. So if you find something you'd like, just make, make a mention of it. I'm going to try and shimmer this at you while I still have a brain in my head. Oh, that's cool. I didn't go for the broke on the cells, but um, I like the ones that I've got, and that's cool. I love you guys. I hope you come again. Um, whatever I'm missing, you'll find it. Community board. Community board's a great place to find out what's playing tomorrow. And uh, my email address is easpb and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. Should float by you on the end screens. And uh, I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and I do sell my artwork. And um, whatever I've forgotten, you'll see in another video. Other than the fact that take care of each other, take care of yourselves. I love you much. You inspire me always. And I'll see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.